Okay, we're finally back with Echo Dawn, and we're about to hop into a cannon, and yes, you heard it right, we are getting blasted into the sky to land in the sky zone. And so I'm pretty excited about this part. I wanted to see what kind of monsters and things are up here, and I'm kind of, you know, I'm excited to get on to the next area. Um, we've kind of cleared up a lot of stuff on the mainland, if you will, uh, down below, and now we get to check out um, some of the sky realm, and there's also some kind of rumors and hints of a sky airship, airship of some kind, a sky ship, I don't know what I was going to say, but an airship of some kind, and that's going to be awesome. So let's see who we get in fights with up here. Looks like we's, we've got these uh, spiky balls that are some kind of sun solar ray attack guys and well I went and decharmed him because I <laughs> miscalculated um, I don't know why I wasn't realizing which one my cleave would hit but anyway oh note to self do not use light damage on them I used prism and it just healed them all so uh, that's definitely not gonna work so I'm just going to drop a bunch of damage initially and just kind of get a feel for how much hit points they have and uh, how hard they hit. I got to use my Mystic's um, turn skipping ability. And let's try dark damage. That did really good. That did 4,000 to one of them. But that's a pretty expensive ability, so uh, I'm not sure I want to use it all the time. And wow, they hit really hard. That hit took my marksman out completely. Wow, okay. Um, if they all do that, I kind of don't stand a chance. I'm, I was all excited to get up here, and it seems like I'm not actually ready. So let's see how this goes a little bit more. Definitely have to get one charmed and start picking the others off uh, one by one. And I'm going to use that expensive uh, dark attack again with a chance of instant death. That's pretty nice. So... Whoa, okay, 8,000 damage it did, and it did take him out, so that's really good. I've got to get my marksman back on her feet, and I'm thinking with the bard, um, we'll just do that, and hope, hope that they're not going to attack her. Okay, up to resistances, and put some kind of aura on us. Huh, that could be interesting. I'm um, sure that amps the damage on us when they attack. So first, I've got to drop my biggest heal on the marksman, and here we go with the bard. Yes, his stun is effective. Lightning does nothing, and the light damage he does heals them. So I've got to remember to get rid of the light damage um, item that's adding that damage to his whips. Okay, heavy dark damage, did it again. Um, I'm pretty beat up with just like one real attack that they got against me. Um, he attacks himself, removes his charm, and I like the fact that my Templar heals himself off of attacking them. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, just hoping for the stun on the whips. That stun has been invaluable, and I've found it really good to just keep him on whips the entire time. A whole game pretty much so far just keeping the bard with whips sweet there we go a piercing shot with the marksman and down he went okay um, my main concern now is just getting to town so yeah here it is that's good news uh, we flew right over it when we were blasted up here so it's not hard to find and huh this is really cool there's a community up here there are settlers and I like the backdrop this is really neat cloud uh, clouds on the background and the cliffs and the whole city perched on the edge of a sky terrace of some kind oh Nicolette hello that was quick as the guy said um, here she is right away uh, which suggests to me that the Sky Realm is not particularly big. And... That is good. Okay, so we're getting parts for the flying machine. That's, that's a really cool thing. I hope that comes together soon. 
no doubt there's some complication. And everybody seems to know what we think is pretty secret. Um, but they think it's just a legend, so... Um, but they also think they know where it is, so that's kind of odd. Oh, actually, I think she meant the legend was that the Tempest was used to suspend this island. But anyway, Mithril Dragonfly goes crazy and attacks him, so that's no doubt the boss that we're going to have to face up here. And a boss made of Mithril could be really, really tough if, you know, this is like the Mithril of lore, of legend and lore. Nice, so there's a map of the caverns, and we got some glide wings that will apparently let us hop back off the cliff, so that's really good. Okay. Obviously, we gotta do some shopping, we gotta find out what's here, because um, with the monsters being that hard, we could use some upgrades. Good news because I'm not seeing much in the way of upgrades per se. Uh, huh. Maybe we'll have better luck over here in the armor section, so let's take a look at that at least. It's a pretty good improvement. Definitely. Need a few of those. So it looks like most of our benefit here is in the way of armor and defensive upgrades. So uh, that's not too bad. We're just going to have to take a while and sift through it, find out what's better and what's best. And in some cases, I have reasons for what my guys are currently carrying. That, is, that improves attack power quite a bit. Well, not too much, actually. Only two on each side. Strength goes up, agility up, dexterity up. Wow, that's all around good. But again, there are reasons that I have certain things on my guys, so I'm going to have to actually go into their menus and uh, sort out if it's actually good or if it just appears to be good. And a couple more things to check out. We'll take a look at the... Uh, well, I, I want to buy that Brigandine vest. Um, the pantaloons with this cap, no, we have better stuff. Great Helm, hey, plus 10% max HP, but not worth the other stuff, maybe, yeah, for two defense, um, I don't see, but plus 10% max HP, that's a boost. And this Torque, um, definitely going to pick up four of those because no doubt there's a reason they're selling them. So you can walk in the store and say, oh, it's equal to what I have, but... There's a reason they have that in this store, so that's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to get into the cave at some point and find it necessary to swap my guys over to those. But I like the rings I have already, so, you know, it's one of those trade-offs. You've got to pick the right gear for the right place you're in, and we'll probably need them. So some of these pantaloons as well, um, a satin surcoat, uh, maybe. In any case, if you're watching this and you didn't gear up down below, you can get a chance to see what kind of gear is up here in this store. And uh, use that as a little bit of a, you know, look ahead knowledge to know whether you should spend your money down there or wait till you get up here. See that five armor that doubles poison damage? That would be really sweet if, um, yeah, you have poison attribute items, or perhaps if you're playing the ninja. That would be really good, I think. I mean, double, yeah, huge. And there we go. This eight armor heals 10% each round. Uh, that cocoon shirt, as you know, so that's why I like it so much. Um, that's the reason 
I have a hard time giving up some of the gear that I currently have. And here we increase defense and everything else. Uh, that's definitely worth it, it seems. And the diamond plate, 11 armor and plus 22 bunch of resists. He's, I mean, he's doing pretty good with that. Um, this adds pluses to strength and, and other things. And just seems all around better, but you do lose the, the environmental resistances, which may... You know, he'll hit harder, he'll have a little bit more dodge. Um, so you kind of get a, you know, trade that in and see, see if it's really worth it. Um, luck goes down, crit goes down a little bit, dodge goes up, armor up, speed up, and attack power from 66 to 70. So up four there and up three at the, at the high end, the uh, possibility to roll high on the attack. Um, yeah, some negligible stuff, you know, not not super great upgrades, not something that you were just couldn't wait to get up here for, except I kind of think um, the ninja has that poison attack when he throws shurikens, and a double poison damage thing is ridiculous. So I have a feeling that if you were playing the ninja, you cannot wait to get up here. That's pretty crazy. Okay, we'll just kind of keep sorting through, and we will... 4 armor, 10 magic power, plus 5 luck. Yeah, we'll finish getting this gear um, equipped on our guys. That's a pretty common thing when we find a new town, is getting new equipment. This time it's okay. Not terribly excited about it necessarily. Oh yeah, and I had to unequip that light damage item on the bard, so definitely don't want to be healing my enemies while I'm attacking them. That's just ridiculous. You definitely don't want to do that. And um, a few more things to figure out. To get those pantaloons equipped. Okay, so I'm just going to be heading back into town here now and selling off the old gear. And... Um, I think for the sake of expediency, I'm going to go ahead and just skip that process now. So we'll step into town, and I'm just going to uh, jump to the part where I'm heading back out of town. And we're going to go and get into some more fights and find out how those go. I'm honestly a little bit nervous because that first fight, we got beat up pretty hard, pretty fast. So uh, let's find out what these cloud foxes do. They've immediately vapored and upped their resistances. Uh, the Mark, uh, Templar seems to do some pretty good damage, but I have a feeling these guys have a tremendous amount of hit points. Okay, light damage hurts these guys, so you know, use it on some and not on others. Doesn't mean the whole Skyrim uh, is invulnerable to light. That's good to know, because that's, it's just a great opening uh, weapon to hit everybody with light. Their dodge seems pretty high, um, but the Templar does good damage. Let's try dark and see what that does. Eh, not great. Not real great. I did a small dark damage. Um, not particularly awesome. And Blade Dance is pretty ineffective as well. Nice. Marksman does really good. Templar blocks and... Oh, I was hoping he finished him off, but he didn't. Okay, so... Um, before I was recording this, uh, this video was getting really tight on time, so this is going to cut off a bit abruptly right at the end of the fight here, and uh, we're going to go to the next video. See you there.